Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installation of Nuplot on Windows OS. In this tutorial, we will download and install Nuplot 5.2.7 on Windows OS. Test the terminal capability. Open the console version and app version of Nuplot. To record this tutorial, I am using Windows 10 OS, Microsoft Edge 40 web browser and a working internet connection to download GNUplot. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with high school mathematics. Download link for the software is gnuplot.info The software is available for all operating systems. First, I will open a web browser to download the latest version of gnuplot. I will open Microsoft Edge web browser. You may use the web browser of your choice. Go to the web address gnuplot.info this loads the official web page of Nuplot. I will scroll down. The current version of the software is 5.2 and the release is 5.2.7. This is the version number at the time of recording this tutorial. Notice the links for the latest release notes, user manual and Demo Gallery. When you practice this tutorial, the current version or release may be different. To practice these tutorials, you can download any of the 5.x version of GNUplot. Click on the link for the current release. Next, let's download the required files. Click on the parent folder link and scroll down. Notice the different versions and upgrades on the software. I will download and install 5.2.7 version of GNUplot. Click on the link for 5.2.7. The latest version release link is seen in green color. Scroll down the refreshed page and notice the various downloadable files. .exe files are compiled for Windows operating system. If you are a Windows user, download the .exe files. I need the 64-bit version of the file for Windows installation. Please check your computer hardware and download the correct file. I will click on this file link as seen on the screen. The page refreshes and after a short pause, a save dialog box opens. In some systems, the download may start automatically. I will choose the save option to start downloading the file. Allow the file download to complete. The downloaded file is saved in my downloads folder. Open the file manager and go to the downloads folder. Next, locate the downloaded .exe file. Double click on the file icon to start the installation. I get a system user control warning to confirm that the file is ok to be run. I'll click on yes to start the installation process. A select setup Language dialog box opens. I will keep the default English language and click on OK. In the next step, choose I accept the agreement option to highlight next. Click on next to progress the installation. Click on next again. I will retain the default folder for GNU plot installation and not change it. Click on next again. I will also retain the default of the software components to be installed. 
They are about documentation, demos and licensing info. Click on next. In the next step, program shortcut is placed in a folder named GNUplot. I will retain this. If the learner desires different choice for destination, this can be changed. Click on next. Here I do not want a desktop shortcut to be created, so I will not check the shortcut box. I will also retain the default and not change my new term environment variable. Let's scroll down. Notice the file associations and the extensions used by GNUplot. PLT, GP and GPL file extensions will be associated with GNUplot. Make sure to associate files with .dem extension with GNUplot. .dem is demonstration files that are available in GNUplot website. The box for add application directory to path environment variable is also checked. Click on next. In the final step, click on install to install the program. Allow the installation to get completed. The next step shows the important changes in the software from the previous release. Click on next. I have not changed the default settings on this page. Click on finish to complete the installation. I will open the installed GNUplot software. Press the Windows key on keyboard. In the search form, type GNUplot. Notice the app and the console version of GNUplot installed on the system. We will open both the versions and familiarize with the interface. First, I will open the console version of the GNUplot software. A Unix style terminal opens. Notice the terminal type is WXT. For some of you, it may be QT. X11 terminal is observed only in Linux or Unix systems. Type test and press enter. This tests the terminal capability of GNUplot. A graphics GNUplot window opens. The graphic window allows you to view plots and graphs. Notice the toolbar on the top of the graphics window. Using these tools, we can export, zoom, draw grid and change few settings. Some terminal setting can be changed using the configuration dialog box on the right. Click on the X icon at the top to close the graphics window. To quit GNUplot, type Q at the GNUplot prompt. Now let's open the app version. Press the Windows key on the keyboard again and type GNUplot in the search form. This time, click on the app version of the software to open it. A terminal with the GNUplot prompt opens. This version has many menus on the top. Enter the test command and notice similar results like the console version. Close the graphics window. The top menu allows the commands to be entered using the menu. Notice the various styles that can be set using the menu. To quit GNUplot, first click on File on the top menu. Choose Exit to exit GNUplot. I will use the console version in this tutorial series. Learners may explore the app version if desired. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we downloaded and installed GNUplot 5.2.7 on Windows 10 OS, opened the console and the app version of GNUplot, and tested the terminal capability of the software. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. 
Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.